Hey guys, welcome back. So this weekend is the big weekend and I wanted to be ready for when my in-laws come. Now we're having a birthday celebration in the backyard and I wanted things to look really beautiful, especially for the pictures. You know what I mean. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to walk you guys around and show you how I got prepared for this. Um, we did a few things during the week. I'm going to show you a clip of that video and then we're going to just plant two pots really quick because the rain is coming down on us. So the first thing we were working on is cleaning the concrete area coming out the basement because that was very dirty. Between the leaves and the dirt and everything else, debris-wise, that was falling in that area, all we were doing was sweeping it, but it looked very, very dirty. So we needed to get some concrete cleaner to get that at least looking decent. You know, it was okay for me and my husband, but not when you have people come into your house. You want you want it to be clean, number one, and you don't want to walk any of that debris inside of your house. So that was the first thing that we decided that we were uh, going to clean and make sure it's done properly. The next thing I worked on is the two pots that I wanted to put in front of the basement door. I wanted that area to still look nice, but I didn't want to overcrowd it with too much plants. So I just used a little bit and put in here just enough. I believe that it's just enough. This is where I cleaned up. So in the video, because it was wet, it didn't look as clean as it should be. But we did pretty good because the concrete was really, like really black. So we try to clean it the best we can and get it clean up. And as you can see in the video, I planted up these two pots, which looks pretty good. They look pretty good. I used small plants. 
I didn't want anything with too much high impact coming out of these doors because I know kids are going to be running around and I don't want anybody to hit anything. I almost fell. Anyway, so I try to keep it small to the minimum in this corner. Up here looks pretty good. So when you come out those basement doors and you're coming up here, it's just have that nice look. Like, let's see coming out of here and you're coming up and it's just the plants and it looks pretty i wish we could have cleaned the concrete a little bit more but that didn't happen rain is coming again guys so it's been raining on and off on and off i got a chance to do the pots i try to keep it clean so i don't have to do much cleaning up and these are petunias i use a pink and a purple and just put it in the pots it's not my best. It's not exactly what I would actually. I probably would have put a little bit more of something. But I just wanted to get it over with. So. And I bring a table down here. Because I know they're going to come and sit here. And you want a table to rest stuff. So that's, that's why I put that table over there. And the little flower pot. I brought this off of the patio so i'm gonna show you what's left on the patio as well but this corner look really nice but again i'm gonna move on because it's raining and over here exactly what i wanted is what i got it just looks nice neat cohesive really nice the pots we had some blooms with the little rain and wind i don't know what happened but my blooms are gone that's okay by the time this rain is over with we're gonna get this fertilized and blooming again but yeah it's not blooming too much right now the two large pots like i said that's doing pretty good but all of these they need fertilizing look nice and clean my spiller my thriller is doing pretty good over here all the thrill that i wanted in this space i'm basically getting it because that's doing really good up there the two pots right here I don't know if you can notice but this one looks fuller than this one and that's because the plant that I had in the back here it died so I had to pull it out and I plan to put back something in there I can put the same thing if I can find it otherwise I'm gonna probably leave it alone or maybe tuck some starter flower in there the the flowers are zinnias and i had is a short compact zinnia and i had one over there so i don't know if i'm gonna try to put it back or leave it alone but the two pots right there just look pretty the light green kind of pop with the flowers it just looks really nice i am gonna do a yard tour um but i'm probably gonna do that next week anyway we're going up the stairs back and this is what you see when you come up on the patio. The umbrella is closed. Of course, it's raining. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm trying to go inside because I don't want my phone to get wet. Because that's what I'm recording with. And although they tell you these phones are waterproof, I don't want to prove them right or wrong. I just want to keep my phone protected. <laughs> anyway, up here is still nicely decorated. Look really good on this table I kept the lower um, pot because I know there we're gonna be putting stuff on this table so I try to keep it clean you know what I mean and what else oh on this side I don't know if you guys can tell I changed it up a little bit what I did was let me show you I left this one over here which this is my herbal box that's going to stay there. But I take the house plants and I put it more like in the corner. Let's see if I can zoom out. There we go. So I put it more in the corner over here because I don't want anybody to knock them down. 
so I was real I was worried about this part so I put it in the corner and I think it looks really nice with the little pop in the corner there the little pots the yellow pots and stuff it just popped in this corner so anyway that's why I put that over there I just don't want anybody to hit them down because sometimes you just don't want to hear sorry okay although accidents happen I don't want anybody to break my good stuff and then say sorry okay so i'm the kind of person if you knock it down if you you move wild enough and knock it down i'm gonna be like i take zale venmo cash app i take whatever so i could go buy my stuff back you know what i mean anyway because these things are expensive they ain't cheap <laughs> anyway that's what this corner looks like and i put the other chair right over there the grill we're gonna be using the grill of course but i gotta move the the water can you know what i'm gonna move it my water can i'm gonna put it under here and it look better under there of course this mat is gonna go away you know but the corner here just look nice this plant y'all is not real it's fake but i just don't know where to put it i just i i thought about putting it up there on this um patio but it's that patio is small and me and my husband go out there at nights you know you drink in a glass of wine or so so i put two small plants up there you know just to beautify up there so the fake stays into the corner because i don't want to throw it away it looks nice you know what i mean yeah anyway <laughs> that is it guys this this look really nice doesn't it doesn't it yeah, I just I just love how it looks. I think I think I am ready. I am I think I am really ready because everything looks good and I'm hoping that you know I'm hoping that we don't get like rain on that day. It doesn't say rain, so I'm gonna hope and pray. And you see over there look just looks everything looks balanced. We had a construction company come in this weekend to repair some stuff and that couldn't happen either because everybody's gonna be here so we have to change our minds but y'all the rain is coming down look at that the rain is coming down the sun is out the sun is fighting to come out while the rain is falling but anyway anyway y'all one last look all right anyway you guys have an amazing evening hope you get a chance to do something amazing something beautiful and i will catch you all in my next video this is a short video guys i hope you enjoy it and remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new welcome 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 just remember to hit that subscribe button bye <laughs>